Leadership is the process of influencing employees to work towards the achievement of objectives. Leadership is one of the most talked about, researched, and written about management topics. However, even though leadership skills can be taught, recruiters say they often see a lack of interpersonal and leadership skills in job applicants. Strong leadership is needed. With today's focus on teamwork, leadership ability is important to anyone in the organization, not just managers. Leadership and management are not the same. People tend to use the terms manager and leader interchangeably. However, the usage is not correct. Management and leadership are related but different concepts. Leadership is one of five management functions, planning, organizing, staffing, leading, and controlling. Someone can be a manager without being a true leader. There are managers who are not leaders because they don't have the ability to influence others. There are also good leaders who are not managers. The informal leader, an employee group member, is case in point. You may have worked in a situation where one of your peers had more influence in a situation than a manager. Our definition of leadership does not suggest that influencing employees is the task of the manager alone. Employees do influence other employees. Anyone can be a leader within any group or department, and anyone in a team is expected to be a leader. Thus, regardless of your position, you are expected to share leadership, because leadership is a shared activity. Transformational leadership is a style of leadership where the leader collaborates with employees to identify the needed change, creating vision to guide the change through inspiration, and executing the change in tandem with committed members of a group. Transformational leadership is about change, innovation, and entrepreneurship. Transformational leadership has been contrasted with transactional leadership. Transactional leadership, also known as managerial leadership, focuses on the role of supervision, organization, and group performance. Transactional leadership is a style of leadership in which the leader promotes compliance of his or her followers through both rewards and punishments. The transaction is based on the principle of, you do this for me and I'll give you this reward. Trust is the positive expectation that another will not take advantage of you. Trust affects behavior, human relations, and performance. Now let's discuss the five dimensions of trust and developing trust among individuals. First, integrity. People who have integrity are honest and sincere. Integrity and dependability are the most important dimension when people assess another's trustworthiness. Be honest. Don't lie, don't steal, don't cheat, but be sincere. Tell it like it is and people will trust you. Note that integrity is in the center, holding the other four dimensions together because without integrity, trust will break apart. Second, competence. To trust, respect, and have confidence in you, people need to believe that you have the skills and abilities to carry out your commitments. Be conscientious. Do the job to the best of your ability. Know your strengths and limitations. Volunteer to help others when you can and seek assistance when you need it. Don't commit to doing something that you can't deliver on. Admit your mistakes and apologize. Others will think, I can trust you. Third, consistency. Consistent people use the same behavior in similar situations. They are predictable. To trust you, people must believe that you're dependable. Promises made must be promises kept. You're only as good as your word and commitments, so if you say you're going to do something, follow through. Practice what you preach. Walk the talk, because actions speak louder than words. People who say one thing and do another lacked consistency. Fourth, loyalty. People who are loyal look out for the interests of others. They don't take advantage of others. Staying loyal to someone preserves trusts, allowing people to be able to function without suspecting their motives. Loyalty requires identification-based trust. Fifth and finally, openness. Trust comes when people are open to accept new ideas and change. They give the full truth and are open to it. 